let's talk about fractions. Today we're looking at fractions of a whole. And our essential question says, how does a fraction name part of a whole? Hmm. How does a fraction name part of a whole? So we need to keep that question in our mind as we work through these things today. We're going to start looking at unlock the problem first. And it's going to be talking about this flag. This is Italy's flag. There are three, and Italy is a country in Europe. It's the one that's shaped like a boot. Um, and their flag is green, white, and red. Ours is red, white, and blue. And we have stars and stripes and a blue background for our stars. And they just have a green stripe, a white stripe, and a red stripe. So this is what their flag looks like for their country. So let's unlock this problem. It says the first pizzeria in America opened in New York in 1905. The pizza recipe came from Italy. Look at Italy's flag. What fraction of the flag is not red? Okay, I understood all the words, so I'm going to go back and read again. It says the first pizzeria, that's the place where they make pizza, in America opened in New York in 1905. The pizza recipe came from Italy. Look at Italy's flag. Which fraction of the flag is not red? Here's our question. Which fraction of the flag is not red? So when I look at this, this is not red. This is not red. This is red. So what's the first thing I need to do? Well, a fraction can name more than one equal part of a whole. So we need to know that our flag is divided into three sections, and they're three equal parts. Equal parts is an important part of fractions. If it's not equal, it can't be a fraction. And then we know that the green and the white are not red. So when I write my fraction, I know I have three parts in all. That's going to be my denominator. And I know that two parts of that flag are not red. So the two becomes my numerator. We can read this as two thirds or two parts out of three. And we write it as two fraction bar three. So blank of the flag is not red. Well, so two thirds of the flag is not red. All right. This is a very important idea. So I'm going to point this out right now. When all the parts are shaded, one whole shape is equal to all of its parts. It represents the whole number one. So the example they said is if three parts of the flag had been red out of three, then that would equal one. So any number divided by itself equals one, right? Exactly. So this is the same kind of thing. Two out of two parts equals one whole. And you've seen that in our video that you watched before you came into class kick. So this idea is extremely important. Any number over itself equals one. Let's keep going. So yesterday we learned our vocabulary for fractions. We know that the numerator tells how many parts are being counted, and the denominator tells how many equal parts are in the whole or in the group. So we have our fraction bar. This is our denominator. This is our numerator. And you can remember that by you nod your numerator if you're nodding your head. So nod your numerator, and you can shake your denominator. If I was in person, I would show you what that looks like. <laughs> okay, so we can count equal parts, such as sixths, to make a whole. What does this word right here, six, mean? Well, if I look at it, it says six at the beginning, S-I-X, and that's this number, six. So I add the T-H-S to let you know that it's been grouped into six parts. Sixths. You've learned that at the beginning in our video there too. So when you break something into six parts, one part of it is going to be one sixth. 
two parts is two sixths, three parts is three sixths, four is four sixths, five parts would be five sixths, and six parts would be six sixths, which equals one. So let me finish writing these in. Because any number over itself on a fraction equals one. Okay. This is a very important information to know. Remember what you learned in the previous video for your introduction. And then also remember this part right here. Whatever you've broken it into, each unit in that is one of the whole. So in this case, it's one sixth. If I have two units shaded, then it's two sixths. Three units shaded is three sixths. Four units is four sixths. Five units shaded is six is five sixths. And if I shade in all of my units, then I have six sixths shaded. All right, move on to the next page and let's see what we're gonna be working on today.